So in this video, we'll take some time to talk about problem number two from the 2024 AP Stats free response set. Uh, this is the problem in 2024 that dealt with exploring data. So the setup here is that we have a local elementary school that's going to sell bottles printed with the school's logo as a fundraiser. Students in the elementary school were selling bottles in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. The relative frequencies of the number of bottles sold for each size by the elementary school, proportion of 0.5 were small bottle sales, 0.3 were medium, and 0.2 for large. The middle school is also going to sell bottles as a fundraiser using the same three sizes. The middle school students sold, sold three times the number of total bottles that the elementary did. Uh, and for the middle school students, the proportion of bottles sold was equal for all three sizes. So a proportion of 0.33 for each of the bottle sizes for the middle school. Part A asks us to complete the segmented bar graphs representing the relative frequencies of the number of bottles sold for each size by students at each school. So we've got an elementary school segmented bar graph and a middle school segmented bar graph. They've already developed the key for us, so we have to use these diagonal lines to show the small bottle portion, blank for medium and shaded in entirely for large. So all I'm doing for the segmented bar graph for the elementary school is I'm taking the proportion of small bottles. I saw that was 0.5. So I mark from 0 to 0.5. Total proportion of 0.5 of the sales for the elementary school were small size. Uh, for medium for the elementary school, it was 0.3. So this endpoint right here is at 0.5. If I'm adding 0.3 onto 0.5, that's going to mean I'm going to have to have that portion of my graph span to 0.8. And then the final 20%, the final 0.2, is going to extend from 0.8 the rest of the way to 1. Uh, for middle school, we have a proportion of 0.33 for each of the size bottles. Uh, so I'm marking my first divider at 0.33. I'm then going up to 0 0.66, 0 0.67, uh, and then from 0.67 the rest of the way to 1. Administrator at the elementary school concludes that the elementary school students sold more small bottles than the middle school students did. Is the elementary school administrator's conclusion correct? Explain your response. So we know half of the elementary school sales were for small bottles while one-third of the middle school sales were small bottles. So clearly the bigger proportion was attained by the elementary school. But this question isn't about the proportion being bigger. This question is about the sales level. What was the frequency of small bottle sales for the elementary school versus the middle school? Now it did say back in the problem statement here that the middle school students sold three times the number of bottles as the elementary school students did. So let's just to put some numbers to this, let's say the elementary school sold 1,000 bottles. Half of them are small bottle sales, so their frequency for small bottle sales would be 500. But since the middle school sold three times the number, we would have their total sales level being 3,000, and one-third of 3,000 is 1,000. So the frequency due to how many more overall bottles were sold by the middle school students, the frequency of small bottle sales is not bigger for the elementary school students. The administrator's conclusion is definitely incorrect. And then the last part of this is talking about two high schools that are also selling the bottles, competing to see which one sold more large bottles. We have a mosaic plot for the distribution of the number of bottles sold by each of the high schools shown here. So we see for large bottles specifically, uh, we have that shaded in the grayish color here. Which of the two high schools sold a greater proportion of large bottles? Justify your answer. So the proportion of large bottles for high school A, we go up to 0.7 on the y-axis, whereas for high school B, we're only going up to 0.6. So which sold a larger proportion? Well, 0.7 is obviously a bigger proportion than 0.6. So high school A sold a larger proportion of large bottles. Now the second part of part B says, okay, which of the two high schools actually sold a greater number of large bottles? Justify your answer. 
So with a mosaic plot, the total amount of area that you see for high school B shaded for the large bottle sales is significantly larger than the total area for high school A for large bottle sales. So kind of like we had happen with the middle school and the elementary school, the middle school's proportion of small bottle sales was smaller than the elementary school, but due to the volume of overall sales, the middle school actually sold more of the small bottles. We have something similar here. As a proportion, high school B did not sell as many proportionally as high school A did, but because they have a significantly bigger portion of the area of the overall mosaic plot, representing their sales than high school A does, we actually have them as the school that sold more large bottles. So I was just kind of estimating across the bottom here for high school B, I, I thought that was about, you know, maybe triple the width of what we have over here. So I, again, put some numbers to it. Uh, let's say that high school B sold about three times more bottles than high school A did. Uh, so if high school A sold 1,000 bottles, 70% of them were large bottles, they sold 700 large bottles, but high school B had 60% of three times the amount of sales being large bottles, meaning their large bottle sales was at 1,800. Uh, high school B definitely sold more large bottles than high school A. That is supported by the example that we're given here, uh, along with the area of what we see shown within our mosaic plot.